are seeing one of the performances from a pianist, Filda Salim, or better known as Filda Beat. She gained her popularity through her contents on TikTok. Yes, and Phil the Beat is known for her outstanding skills in playing classical music, as you can see in the video, including Beethoven's Piano Sonata Number no. 10, 31, Presto the Second, and Large E Mesto. Now she shows off her talent with the piano on her TikTok account at Phil the Beat. Check her out. Welcome back to our signature segment, See the Stories, and you are watching the three-hour news show now. As you mm -hmm. can see, the beautiful Filda Salim is here. Filda, thank you so much. I want you no, standing ovation. ovation for that, really. <laughs> wow, thank you for coming to the studio. Yes, thank you for having me. So it was too bad because we were so looking forward for you to uh, play a piece, but you know right. it's a blessing in disguise because if, if the piano were here, they were going to make me to play with it. <laughs> She's the star of the show, not me. <laughs> no, but you can't play piano too. Well, no, not at your level, not anywhere near your level. Um, but can you tell us which song you played or composition you played in that particular video? Do you remember? Um, yes, so that was Beethoven Sonata Opus um, number 10, Opus 31. Mm -hmm. That's one of the repertoire that I played for my graduation recital in Boston. Ah. So that was actually two years ago during the pandemic era. Uh -huh. I went back to Boston just for that graduation recital. But I actually graduated, um, I think, six months before that. Oh, yeah. six months before that. Yes. So thanks to the pandemic, everything was like backtracked. Yes, <laughs> wow. kind of. <laughs> wow. Well, after um, that, and mm -hmm. also now you are in Indonesia, yeah. you've released uh, music called Mimpi. Now, that would be dreams in English. Mm -hmm. Could you tell more about that? So, actually, I came with dream because the song is quite dreamy. If you've heard the song, basically, um, it's actually up on Spotify if mm -hmm. you want to listen to the full version with piano and orchestra. And not only that, um, that song tells about my journey being a pianist, actually. Mm -hmm. So I want people to relate how I reach my mimpi, how my how I reach my dream to be a classical pianist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and if you listen to the song, you can kind of feel like the ups and downs, the yeah. butterflies, yeah. the funny part, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, so um, I I understand that we've spoken about this before, and I have huge respect for you because I know the stamina that it takes oh. to literally study classical music, um, <laughs> yeah. any kind of instrument. I know the stamina it takes and the effort and the commitment that you have for yourself. Uh, can you tell us your journey? You studied in Berkeley, right? Mm -mm. When did you start playing piano and why the piano classic and why classically? A lot of people go for contemporary mm -hmm. composition, mm -hmm. but you chose classical music. I started playing the piano at four mm -hmm. and then I just feel like classic is just classy. Yeah. Like, the music never dies. Doesn't have a trend, doesn't follow anything. There's no specific rule. Doesn't follow a trend, basically. Mm -hmm. So I can always like the song. The song that I used to listen when I was young until now, yeah. it's always the same. Yeah, yeah. So that's just why I like classical music. Uh, but now um, that you wrote uh, your music, mm -hmm. and uh, what or who inspired you to, to write your music? A lot of people, actually. But um, that song, Mimpi, I, I actually, funny story, I wrote that song after I graduated um, my college, mm -hmm. right? And then it was during the pandemic era, mm -hmm. and then I released that song. 
And then I wanted to be like Disney. Ah, like, okay. <laughs> so if you listen to the song, it sounds like a Disney song. Dreamy. And dreamy. Princessy. Yeah, princessy. Yeah, it's so like, you know, me be. Mm -hmm. And then. Sorry, what was the question again? <laughs> <laughs> who, who inspired? But, but I, I, think, I think we got the inspiration already. Uh, totally, totally. You got inspired from Disney and all the princesses. Right, right, right. right. I, I, I would think like um, because did you learn to compose music as well? Oh yes. yes. So yes. did you? Did you? Which major did you take? Because I understand when you uh, pick classical music, mm -hmm. you would have to pick your majors in like composition or a minor in composition oh, or okay. in performing. So right. which one was your um, your major, major? I was majoring in classical performance. Ah. And then um, so the school that I went to is called Boston Conservatory at Berkeley. Okay. Okay. So they merged with Berkeley. And if you don't know, it's the top three, I believe. Um, music school in the US. Mm -hmm. So even though I take a lot of classical, I take classical music as my major, mm -hmm. I got a lot of benefits from Berkeley. I can take jazz classes, oh, I can okay. take, they have a lot of classes options. Like mm. I took music therapy, music, um, yeah, that's so beautiful. many things. Yeah, That's really new here in Indonesia, music therapy. Right. I, I only know um, three or four music teachers who are certified musical therapists here yeah. in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah, even music psychology, you know, mm -hmm. and a lot like EDM, EDM song, um, songwriting, yeah, composition, yeah, yeah. and yeah. I do compose too, mm -hmm. but I just didn't take that major. Oh. I just feel like I enjoy performing. I prefer entertaining, so that is why I took classical. So was it difficult for you to actually write the song, maybe because you never did composure? No. Because... How was the song structured, just out of curiosity? I'm, I'm, I'm imagining a, yeah, <coughs> excuse yeah. me, Chloe Flower. Do you, you know Chloe Flower? Yeah, I know, I know her. <laughs> yes, I know her. Yeah, actually... You lost me at Chloe Flower. <laughs> she, she was Beyonce's pianist. Oh, yes. really? She is a very contemporary classical pianist. She's oh. amazing. But I, I think, if I'm not wrong, she's also classical trained. Yes. Looking oh. at like her. you. Like how she plays. Yes. She's also very inspiring. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So how did you manage? Was it challenging for you to write your first song? Not really. It's not, not actually my first song. I used to compose too before I went to Boston. Mm. So I think I wrote like six, seven songs. I and I did my debut at 17. Yo! Wow, look at this! Good to have you back in Indonesia. Yeah, yeah the, you one of the treasures that this country should have. Mm -hmm. But um, obviously, um, songwriters express their feelings through lyrics. But let's say uh, you are a straight up musician. Mm -hmm. What would you think a musician would do to express their feelings or their emotion? Instrumentalist. Instrumentalist. Mm. I feel I feel like you just have to enjoy the music. You have to actually love the music that you play. Mm. For you to be able to share the music with people, mm -hmm. for people to understand what you want to deliver, what you want to convey in that music, you have mm. to love the piece first. Yeah. Um, it says a lot in a music, like the dynamics, the harmony, the melody, you mm. know, the, the style, the accompaniment, so many things, not only by lyrics. Mm. Okay. Lyrics is one thing and it's the one direct thing. way to do it. Right. I, one thing that I always treasure when, when I hear pianists or classic pianists, it's like, it's so different. Right. It's so different. I love that. And I and I, I have so much respect for, for being able to do that. But as you know, the public is always curious. Like classical musicians to me or at least in Indonesia right. is like a, a gem or a, like a, of like course. a gem. I understand, yeah. Because a, there are not many. Of not you many. Right. Really focuses on real classical music. So, how did you take that through social media? Right. Can you share us a journey mm -hmm. of when you started sharing in social media and why you decided to start sharing yeah. on social media? It was during the work from home era where everyone <laughs> cannot go out at all. Yeah. So I stayed at home and TikTok was a thing. Well, of and course. I started recording my practice routines mm -hmm. and I share with people. And also a funny story, I love pop orchestra. Ah. So I love anything that is classical but not too serious. Okay. okay. Yeah, and that is what I do with my song, Mimpi. Oh. So it's not too heavy for um, people, I think, to understand. Yeah. It's still easy listening, still mm -hmm. catchy. Mm -hmm. And I mix it with Dangdut. Oh! No! It's a trend, right? Of course, on TikTok, yes. especially here in Indonesia. Yes, of course. So I mix it with Dangdut. The, imagine classical with Dangdut. How can you combine them? Exactly. Right? I, I, I could not think about it right. already. And I added instruments, I added a few instruments like accordions. Mm. So it sounded like more 
um, French songs. Mm. So it's like dangdut but elevated, but like cooler version. Yeah. I think. So yeah. you took the dangdut blueprint and elevated yes. it with classical instruments. Kind of. But that's amazing. Say, yeah. And it's how, how did people respond to that at mm. first? It's positive. It's positive. And like people are like, oh, classical music, and that's also my branding. I feel like. That is why people can appreciate me as a classical musician. Is that I am not too serious in front of the camera, mm. in front of the social media, mm. which is where, which is like people see classical music played on concert hall, yeah, they on see a very yeah. serious settings. You know? I, I love, I, I love our, uh, how my friends used to call me a complete snob because I used to play <laughs> classical music. Me too. Because when, I because, can relate. Right? Because because when we perform on stage, purely classical music is a completely different persona. Right. And you're very serious. Mm -hmm. You're very mm -hmm. your body positions, your elegant, facial expression, elegant, yeah. yeah. The dress. Uh, mm. Right. But like, uh, we're just people. But right. I love that you're just people too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, um, on that note, with uh, lots of actors in classical music, also we spoke to some of the classical uh, uh, musicians here in the show. George Harleono, Rama mm -hmm. Widi, mm. uh, Iskandar Wijaya. Yeah, I know. I so know them, yeah. We, we spoke to them and um, they they have a certain thing that, the, that their followers told them um, about their music. But speaking of your classical music, with, with your branding, how do you see classical music could attract your followers and also the public? To be honest, I was just trying to be myself. Mm -hmm. Like, I can make mistakes too. And it's fine if I record it in front of the, you know, if I post it online mm -hmm. so that people can relate. Especially yeah. classical music is very serious, a yeah. lot of pressure, oh. like you said, right? Yes. So I am I am persuading people that it's okay if you don't like music, you don't have mm. to force it. But don't but don't but don't ever give up. I love that because I find it very challenging for little kids who are just starting <laughs> with yeah. very ambitious parents. Mm -hmm. Or maybe right. it's by their own choice. But it's uh, have has you know any crowd ever approached you saying like you're such an inspiration to classical music because it's relatable. There is a crowd that started learning music through classical music. So how do you feel being an inspiration to them, knowing that you know what you don't have to be perfect? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm so glad that people see it that way because I have pressure too sometimes. I feel like oh no, maybe my personality, my character here, and the social media. I'm very sure a lot of people don't like it too, because mm. then I make it look like classical is not classy. serious, like or sassy, sassy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, because of my character. But honestly, it's just who I am. I'm like a bit quirk, quirky, you know. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit like funny, so like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You just have to accept it. I'm, yeah. Be authentic. Be authentic. Be yes, that's what. Being. That's Be what I'm human being. Mm -hmm. right. Okay, now we're talking about uh, social media already. But how have social medias affected your career as a pianist? Uh, has it opened, um, let's say, new opportunities for you in the in the music industry? Yes, it's amazing. I never thought I, I would be here today. <laughs> um, so if you don't know, my Instagram name is Phil the Beat. Yes. Yes, because yes, my name is Phil that, and yeah. so you can feel the beat. Phil the beat. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> right. And aside from uh, making content, making videos online, I also teach as a teacher. Oh. I teach piano. Here in Jakarta or? Here in Jakarta, yes. Okay, I see. Okay. So it's called Feel the Beat Studio. Basically, I have a few teachers teaching too. Mm. They're helping me. Mm. And because I make contents, people expect me to be funny, you know, like, mm. ah, this teacher looks fun. They want to be my students. And there, I got a lot of, I, I got quite a lot of students. So do you, do you change your persona when you start teaching classical music? Kind of. <laughs> Of, you know, because classical music is very right. serious, unfortunately. Right. They're like, ah, oh, this teacher is funny. You know, I want to go to her and like, hi, miss, I want to learn piano. And they started talking so much. I was like, um, yes, but we still have to play piano. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. And th that student will be like, did I got pranked? Yeah. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I know the feeling uh, of, you know, having learned from a very prestigious, elegant old Russian lady. <laughs> to play the piano, right. very classically strict, ah, very strict. Ah, ah. Ah. Like it. That's the yeah. feeling. That's mm, the feeling. Mm, mm. It's still about the same approach. I feel like mm -hmm. I used to get hit for not oh. not play well. You know. Oh. Yeah. So when you play the piano, you have to curve your hands, right? Yeah. Hold the apple. Like. Yes. <laughs> and 
Some teachers are very oh yeah, my god. Yeah, yeah. They very can killer. yeah, they can Old put like ones. candle. They can <gasps> No. I've heard those stories, but I don't know if it's true. I had a I've ruler on top. Yeah, ruler. I had a ruler on yeah. top of my hands right. just to make sure that it doesn't right. drop. Instead of doing yeah. that, I am putting candy for my students. That's better. So, uh, so if you drop it, you don't you don't get the candies. Oh. Uh, that's nice. That's amazing. That's, nice. that's nice. Yeah, that's I wish I had a piano teacher like that. I probably would have lasted in <laughs> piano for a while. I'm so sorry for but, you. No, that's okay. I, I, I have no regrets uh -huh. because um, they say the teacher is like, you know, the quality that the teachers present to you, uh -huh. you are basically the result of the, their teaching quality. True, right? so, true, yeah. true. But as a young artist, how do you pursue your classical music while also, uh, you know, exploring various genres? Um, how do you... Is it difficult in Indonesia to pursue a classical music career? I think kind of, but there are always some people who appreciate music. Mm -hmm. Especially growing up, I was in the in the music, classical music industry. Mm -hmm. So, if you know some of the legends, some of the seniors here in Indonesia, yes, they would still appreciate it and they still have concerts too in Indonesia, right? Mm -hmm. We have the great um, concert hall in... Um, what is it called? Oh my god. In Jakarta Utara, yeah. Mayoran. Yes. Yeah. Right? That's a very good hall. We have a few good halls here in Jakarta too. And all the, all, with, with good acoustic and stuff. Yes, right? good acoustics. And we have great conductors, Rebecca Tong, we have mm. Iswargia, all the legends, you know. Oh. Okay, now help me to understand because I don't learn classical music, or, or might as well. Uh, uh, people uh, who are watching us at the moment. Uh, I'm more familiar with food, let's say. Yes. So the way for you to appreciate food is actually through the texture, mm -hmm. through the layers of flavors, and also the hard labor uh, behind uh, the, the process of the food. And how do you actually appreciate uh, uh, classical music? I usually do some research. Mm -hmm. Like, um, the story behind the songs, mm. or how I interpret the song. Mm. That makes it special to me. Because classical music can be played by a lot of people. Mm -hmm. And can be played by a lot of people. And how do you, um, how do you stand out a lot? Uh, how do you stand out among all those great pianists, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So I always have a special heart, a special songs for me, how I interpret the songs. Mm. Oh. So, who are your favorite classical, or let's say in the classical era, your favorite uh, composers? That's always the hardest question. Like, <laughs> the pick three or four. You can you can pick one of each era, like one of Baroque, okay. one of the classical, one of the Romantics. You, you can for Baroque, of course, there isn't that many options. Mm -hmm. um, but Bach, I like Bach. I love Bach. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, for classical, I prefer Mozart, but okay. I also love Beethoven. I cannot pick. <laughs> Yeah, Beethoven is a lot, slightly more progressive than yes, Mozart. Yes, yes. Okay. Mozart is when I'm... Depends on my mood, honestly. Okay. When I'm feeling happy, I would be listening to Mozart. But when I'm feeling like moody, then mm -hmm. I would feel... I would listen to Beethoven. Mm -hmm. Okay. But Chopin is always my go-to composer. I love him. Yeah, he's... Very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Rachmaninoff, Ravel, um, Liszt. Ah. Yeah. I love romantic pieces. Oh, beautiful. So could you enlighten us about your upcoming projects perhaps and um, how many are and how many instruments you've per perhaps started learning oh. and before you focused on purely piano? I tried a lot, a couple instruments. I tried flute. I always felt busy playing flute. <laughs> <laughs> it is only made for special people. <laughs> Flute, I played violin, mm -hmm. um, I did a bit of cello, mm -hmm. but not really, if, I don't know if that counts. Um, yeah. I tried guitar and that hurts my hands. <laughs> okay. And then I played organ. Mm. Yeah. The church organ? Uh, I tried that one. Uh, I used to play in the church yeah. and I played electone, where you can, uh, you can have a lot of uh, sounds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then... I did ballet and, and vocal and voice. Oh, so, those are a lot. That's a, a lot. So music was always in my life. Yeah, That's since always four years old. Yeah, four years old. And also, your upcoming project. You've been in the industry or, or you've touched piano since you, uh, you were four. And now, what's uh, coming from you? Um, I'm actually focusing on my teaching. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to expand it. And I actually just had my concert last Sunday. Last Sunday. Last Sunday. Congratulations. Congratulations. Yeah, I, yeah. 
with my students, I've played my song, I've played a couple of um, a few classical pieces, and I had collaborations with harp and singers. Ah, that's beautiful. Oh, that would be a hard thing. I love that. Thing I love that. Do. I mean, I'm telling you to just to give the viewers a little bit of context. We have spoken about how difficult classical music is, mm -hmm. and just saying. And we had Rama Weedy coming here yeah. right, recently, and he also talked about his journey on actually getting the audition to get into the conservatory in Vienna, which was also very complicated. So my hat goes out to your respect and all the success. Yes, Thanks. of course. So I, I, you know, it's so great to see you make it this far, and I know a lot of people. Uh, would rather, you know, stop in between. <laughs> but you know what? No this, is, this is her first time here in this exactly. studio. Exactly. Why don't we give her something to remember? Oh, yeah. Like only we can, right? Like only we can, yes. Let's play a game. How about that? Ooh, because it's sure. weekend and, and the three-hour news show, we should play a game. Yes. Okay, sure. So there will be some emojis if you would like to turn yourself, your body around to facing to the uh, plasma. So there will be emojis displayed in the plasma mm -hmm. where a combination of these emojis will describe a musician, be it a singer or a band. Now all you have to do is guess who it is. Ready? Both of you? Oh, ready, so you but, will but be... not this one, not this so one. Are you guys have... helping me too? Wait, no. we have a bell We have, we have a bell. You, oh, can, no. you can ring the bell. So okay. you will be playing against Hans. <laughs> Oh no! The most competitive one here in the studio. Oh, and no. one of the best ones at winning this game. Yeah. Oh. But I know that you can do it too. Are you ready? <laughs> Hopefully. So can yeah. we have a look on the very first musician slash band? Ooh. Huh? Ooh. It's not Smashing Pumpkin. Is it? Uh, make what? Uh, make pumpkin sing pumpkin. Make to. Make Jack, uh, boy. Uh, that's a jack o' lantern, right? Yeah, that's a jack o' lantern. Uh, Hello. Oh! Yeah? Mick Jagger! Is it Mick Jagger? Are you sure? Is it Mick Jagger? Are you sure? Do you want to have a guess? No, I, I guess it has something to do with Halloween. If okay. Halloween. So let's see what the. Is it Mick Jagger? No, no, Jackson. You said Jack O' Lantern. This is Sun. Oh. It's a boy. Oh, see, oh my. Ah. My oh, boy, my see. Jack, Jack. Oh my God. Oh, okay, 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 okay. This okay. is hard, right? This oh, is hard. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's very hard. Okay, this is just the warm up. Okay, Let's go to the next one. Can we look <laughs> at the next emoji? Huh? That's a White House. Uh. Right. Mm, Mm, what? Uh, uh, Circle, white, uh, house. I, I'm not even sure. Mm. Mm. It's white, it's a diva. Wait, what? It's one of the divas. Oh! Oh my god, again? Whitney Houston. Oh my god! Can we take a look? Whitney oh White my God. and House uh, Houston. That's how we do it. I have to try So, so the, the clue is you got to take it literally. E. Oh, okay. Take okay, it okay, literally okay, okay, again. Okay, okay. Just take it literally. Okay? Literally and probably literally. tweak it a little bit. Yes, literally and tweak it just a little bit. Okay, so Hans, you go one. One. But come on, Philde, oh you God. can totally catch up. We still have more. Yeah. Next one. Oh, this I don't know. Damn. Boom. Boom. I'm also thinking. What is, what is zero? Mm. Oh. Is it a zero? That's an O. Oh. Broom. Broom. O. Oh. Broom. I know. Oh my god. Oh my god. What yes. is that? What is that? Bruno Mars. Is it's it not Bruno Mars? Mars? It is! <laughs> Whoever made this question, that is not Mars. <laughs> it's For Bruno fact, I know no that's Saturn. <laughs> it is one versus one. We oh have god. a tie oh here. And okay, we go okay. to the next one. Let's see if we get to break the tie. Uh, oh, oh I, I know that one. I know this one. Oh my god! Oh my god! I know this one. Coldplay. Ah! Is it Coldplay? Ah! Yeah. Oh my god. Coldplay. Okay. We have the last one fun. here. So will we have a tie, uh, or will Hans continue to rule the game? Okay, 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 Let's okay, take a look. Okay, okay. I don't see want the next to give one. My rain. Last one. What? Oh, uh, this I don't know. Ah, uh, oh, uh, okay, I think I. Phone. That's an iPhone. Phone lion. 
phone. phone. Mm -hmm. Huh? What is that? Phone. Mm -hmm. uh, phone. Is that is that a wave or what? Oh right. Uh, phone. Wave. Is this a wave? That looks like a wave. Line lion? Is that line? <coughs> is that line? Phone. Online. It is. Huh? Oh. Online lion. Online lion. Uh. Wave mm. lion. No, it's not. Mm. Oh. What? This is tricky. It's another diva. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Oh. It's another diva. How many divas do you know? You can get them all. A lot. Whitney Houston, Celine Dion, Beyonce. Uh, who? Yeah? It is Celine Dion. No, it's not. It is. Is it Celine Dion? Yes! <laughs> Sal Phone. Sal Lion. Lion. Dion, Dion is Lion. <laughs> How could I give the answer to we you? We have the time. Uh, yeah. This. I love that we end up with ties. Yeah. Fiona, thank you so much for joining us in the oh, studio. All the success here. Thank you so much. Career. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And It'll... thank you for keeping classical music alive in your yes. career. I always appreciate that. Thank you so much. And also for those of you who are just uh, joining us, you missed a lot because this <laughs> lady over here have shared a lot of her journey, her classical music journey. But um, where can we find you on your socials? So you can find me on Instagram, Fill the Beat, yeah. and also on TikTok. I also have YouTube too. Okay, so it's F I L D A B E A T. Beat beat. Perfect. Okay, Fill the Beat. Yes. We're set for another break. We'll return to play a game again with a special mm -hmm. prize. Only our signature segment. See the stories. Stay tuned. <laughs>